Mercurial Reveries um, is a big piece that you wrote, a big virtuosic piece for solo piano. Um, and you composed this piece in 2014, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I was wondering if you could talk about your process of collaborating with Michael, working with him on this piece. Well, it was great. I mean, Michael is a phenomenal player. And um, so he asked me to write this piece. And one of the things that he's really interested in is bringing newer music and older music together on the stage. Um, and he's done a lot of work with this. And so we, we went back and forth talking about um, what pieces might actually pair, what older pieces might pair with mine. It's not something I'd really ever thought about. And of course, with the sort of Indian aspect that I bring in, how does that work with more you know, Western um, piano repertoire? Um, so, you know, he gave me a lot of pieces to listen to, but then I started composing the piece. And when I brought a draft to him, he said, oh, this really reminds me of um, one of the Bartok improvisations. I had not been thinking about Bartok, but many people have mentioned um, that there is a connection. Um, so I'm not surprised. And so that's, then he started pairing the Bartok improvisation uh, with my piece. Mm -hmm. so an and interesting it, collaborative experience. The first movement of your piece is um, sort of like a written out improvisation. Is that right? Sort of an improvisation on some Hindi folk melodies and yeah it's uh like you know it's basically uh um a variation you might say or um yeah like if someone's just singing a song and they kind of make up their own uh version of it uh yeah and it the notation is is loose too so there's a lot of room for interpretation with the rhythms with what michael does ah. and finally can we talk a little bit about the title um, I know that you added the title when you were done with the piece. So did you think about the title as reflecting sort of what the piece ended up becoming in terms of its mood or, in, or is there, is that basically where the title comes from, Mercurial Reveries? I, I find titles to be one of the hardest things to do. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm immersed in the sound of the music and, but I, I do want to get, you know, I don't want to just call it piano, you know, piece for piano. Mm -hmm. um, I want it to have some connection to the listener. And what I was thinking about with this piece is it shifts a lot. It's constantly mm. changing mood. Um, it's got five movements and they're all different. So that's where the word mercurial comes from. I was looking for a word that is kind of like quicksilver. And, mm -hmm. and so that's where that came in. And then I also wanted to capture this idea of improvisatory, like a whim, uh, mm -hmm. a fantasy you might have called back, you know, in the older um, repertoire. Yeah. So that's where the word reveries comes from. Well, it puts the listener in a particular frame of mind. I mean, any, any title, right? Yeah. Whether or not it's where you start when you're composing the piece or where you end. Um, well, and it's vague enough that anybody can interpret the piece how they want to, really. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mercurial Reveries, performed by Michael Mizrahi.
Thank mm -hmm. you.